Here I am in the Philippines, the country that people love not only having fun, but also good food. Thai food is very popular here, and today I'm having a lunch gathering with my friends at one of the top Thai restaurants in town. It's just one block from Green Belt. Very near. So this is like the center of Makati. Yes, we are in the central business district, so it's very convenient. How popular is Thai food? Very popular now. Um, Thai food is being discovered. I think there are more and more Thai restaurants also in Manila, no? Yes, now I, for my information, yeah. it's around 100 Manila food. What is like number one? The most popular dish here is the pad thai. Pad thai. Yeah, when people walk in, you know, they say pad thai right away. Uh -huh. you know? Saturday market in Salcedo Village, mm -hmm. we have a stall there for azutai. So we serve about 15 different dishes, but this we cook on the spot. Uh -huh. And Filipinos really know it. It's like uh -huh. pad thai, pad thai. It's the most popular Thai dish. But among the salads, it's the pomelo salad. Pomelo salad. This one is very healthy. Yes, different level. You can say mild, oh, okay. or, and then regular, <laughs> yeah. and then Thai. Yes. So Thai is our highest yeah. level. It's like, ooh, good luck. All right, are we hungry now? Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> I'll serve you. Okay. Please start. Yeah. The combination of the test is quite good for me. It's similar to what I have in Bangkok. Mm, yes. Beautiful mushrooms. So for ingredients, in the Philippines, I mean, natural resources are quite rich. Yes. So you find everything, especially like tropical vegetables or fruits or... We still bring in like um, certain ingredients from Thailand, like the palm sugar we bring in, because we don't have that here. As the sauces okay. that we cannot make, okay. we bring in. Yeah. You know, all the lemons that are in here, mm -hmm. very healthy. Yes. But now, if, if for Thai restaurants, that got like Thai select certificate. We can use application as well. And then oh, just search for oh, oh. that go to Thai select.com or application yes. Thai select and then so we can search can, so, like yeah. Thai select restaurants in Makati, for example, and Azu Thai mm -hmm. comes up. There will be flat. Alloy. Alloy. Masara, right? Masara is. Masara is alloy. Alloy. Alloy, my mom. So, this is shaved ice romit, right? I see. We call rubies, crunchy rubies. But you have it in red and green. Right. Yeah. Well, this is like a, a very similar dish to a Filipino halo halo. Halo halo, ah, yeah, okay. This is the Thai halo halo that we call <laughs> jackfruit. Jackfruit. Yeah. And you call this kaong. Kaong. Yeah. Oh, okay. This one is a taco. Taco. Yeah. Ah. Very famous. Yes. Very famous. Chiladen. Mm. Thank you. Coconut, chef eyes go along together. This afternoon, Pi Um toured me around Metro Manila and we ended up at BGC, the new hip neighborhood. We met Aaron, our friend, for a special Thai fusion food dinner. At Mango Tree, I'm impressed with their modern interior design. It still looks very Thai to me. Pium say they offer food from all regions of Thailand. Oh, I miss Isan food. BGZ, what is it short for? Bonifacio Global City. It's a new part of Manila, Metro yeah, Manila. Yeah, it was uh, improved and developed as yes. the new business district yes, yes. of the Philippines. Yes, I saw many hip, you know, buildings, places to hang out, a lot of shops. V very, very nice area. Yes. Okay, we're having Thai food, but a little bit of chick style, like fusion style. It's grilled chicken, mm. 
kind of East Thai style, right? Uh. Uh, Northeastern part of Thailand, they eat a lot of grilled chicken, and normally we eat with the sticky rice. And what are we having? Pom pho. Different herbs, different ingredients. Oh. They use some more of dry chili, and this they use mussels as well. This one, masamai. Looks like the paste is quite complex. Many ingredients that they use to make the paste for masamai. And this one, uh, the yellow curry with crab meat. Shall we start? Okay. Mmm. The chicken was marinated as well before they grill. You know, a lot mm. of Thai dishes are are ancient dishes, and they use clay pots as containers. And they serve. So there's a, a, a Thai touch, one kind of like Thainess you can feel when you enter the restaurant. And maybe they can store more heat mm. for the food yeah, to stay hot. Yeah, it's, I think it's durable yes. for fire, for, for the heat. Yeah. How was Tom Klong? This one is a blend of spicy and sour. And the blend of the deeper, different herbs Yes. It's really good. Okay. Lemongrass. Garlic, uh -huh. onions, tomatoes. My favorite dish is crab meat with yellow curry. Oh. And I'm surprised, a little surprised, uh, to have it here with very similar taste to what I have in Bangkok. So I, I feel like it's tasty. This is like authentic Thai test because at the beginning it might not feel that spicy, you know. But at the end, you feel the spiciness mixed with like saltiness, sourness. You know, I, I love the test here, and even more, I love the decoration here. It's kind of like fusion, but at the same time, we feel that it's like Thai. Yeah, this is a great place to enjoy your time with your friends. I saw like they have like Thai select like sign in front of the restaurant. How, how is it different from other restaurants? The sign is from Department of International Trade Promotion. Of Thailand? Initiate, uh, oh, okay. Of Thailand. Initiate the, the sign of Thai select. If the Thai restaurant abroad mm. get the certificate, Get yes. the, the mark like right? huh. that. It means it's authentic Thai food. Oh. If you want the authentic Thai food, you can see the mark, mark and then you come in. You assure that it's the real Thai, touch of Thai and Thai food. Check out the list of Thai select restaurants near you at thaiselect.com. Enjoy Thai food!